Hello everybody, happy Sunday morning. This is Merle and Bea is behind me. Today is a harvest day for us here in our homestead. It's so funny because this morning I was restocking the produce stand and then I kind of stopped um, to go drink some water because it's a really hot day today. And then I didn't go back to the stand right away and I forget that we ran out of tomatoes. And the next time I came out, we had a customer who was harvesting green tomatoes from my garden. It was funny. Uh, we're not offering you pick, but he really, really needed some tomatoes. So, and he said he has a party and he wanted to cook some fried green tomatoes. So he came to the garden and got some. So I came out here and helped him. And so then after he got done shopping, we decided to just go ahead and grab some more green tomatoes but then we realized that we have so many ripe tomatoes that are ready for harvest so that's what we're doing today um uh, it's a very it's a little bit late for running the irrigation but i went ahead and started our drip irrigation for all of the plants in the two zones in this garden and then we're harvesting so i'm going to show you here in a minute what we have going on um we have here a couple of bell pepper plants row and then um now this there's something wrong with this guys tomatoes no leaves hmm see if we can find the tomato hornworm look at that this is an indication that something has been eating the plant Well, I couldn't find the tomato hornworm in here. But you can see here in the ground, there are so many droppings. Uh, but it's not on the plant. So I'm wondering if it was eaten by a bird already. Um, these are the rows we were working on before I went to grab my camera. Um, so here we have mostly green tomatoes we're taking to the produce stand and then the ripe tomatoes are in there we still have a lot of ripe tomatoes we can harvest right now um, we also have the cherokee carbon right here i know a lot of people like cherokee carbon Cherokee carbon look at that it's just so funny because sometimes they have a funny shape like this but sometimes they're perfectly circle like this one we have a lot more in here I am in the Cherokee carbon row picking look at this beautiful Cherokee tomatoes some of them are a little bit small but they're already ripe like this so we'll just go ahead and get them so we've decided to stop picking tomatoes guys and this is what we got for today um, I am at the produce stand and I'm fixing to put this on the table we have some more in here um, the ones here in the back we've harvested from a few days ago so yeah tomatoes last for quite some time it is the next day getting dark already I'm here in the old garden we are harvesting whatever we can get from this garden these are some of our bitter melon plants that we have grown on one of our arch trellises we've harvested a few of the bitter melon and um, we have some in here you can tell that we missed harvesting this one on time but that's okay because whenever the bitter melon ripens it will have seeds that you can grow for next year's garden for our next stop, we are here in an 8x4 
raised bed where we planted some jalapeno peppers look at this one pepper plant here it's loaded with peppers it got so heavy so it fell over so we need to harvest a bunch of this tonight not sure if you can see that but look at all of these jalapenos they are in the smaller side because this part of the garden did not get much attention this year but still the plants are producing so that's a good thing right there jalapenos for our next stop we have sweet banana peppers look at that guys these are beautiful sweet banana peppers these sweet banana peppers are ready for harvest oh I love it these plants have been fed you can tell because the peppers are really big I usually use a pruner when I harvest my peppers but since I need to hold my camera with my other hand and show you the beautiful banana peppers that we're harvesting so I'm just mm, doing my best not to break the branches of the plant while I'm harvesting this so we have our basket right here this is a peck size box mm, okay so this one's good all right ben came say hi. hi ben came with a bigger box so we're just going to transfer our banana peppers to this box this is the lid of a regular 20 pound tomato box okay I'm gonna save the basket for the okra that we will harvest here in a little bit mm -hmm. and this is our sweet banana pepper harvest today we have a lot I have noticed that some of the sweet banana pepper plants have fallen over probably because the peppers have gotten so heavy like this one right here see that it's on the ground so next time i'm gonna need to find a way to stake them but i think for now i'm just gonna let them grow how they're growing i'm not going to correct them because i don't want to disturb the stems or the roots we still have a lot of banana peppers on the plants which will will be ready here in a few days our next stop is the row of eggplants so here we have our beautiful black beauty eggplants it looks like there's one eggplant that's ready on this plant so far we have harvested two okay look at that this is a good size for selling the big ones we sell for a dollar a piece which is not bad at all the long purple eggplants we sell for depending on how big they are um, three of them for a dollar or for the bigger ones we do 50 cents a piece now this can still grow a little bit bigger so we're gonna leave this on the plant maybe wait for a couple of days mm, i'm so tempted to harvest the peppers look at this isn't that beautiful yeah we have many of them that are ready for harvest we have some red ones down there and 
Now these are not ready yet. Uh, right there. And right here. It looks like an animal came and ate the pepper. Well, these are all hot peppers in this row, so I believe the animal got a lesson. Hopefully it won't come back anymore. Um, it has started growing some leaves now, so that's a good thing. And then here in this row, we have okra. So let's just take a look at the okra. This can probably wait till tomorrow. But with the okra, you're going to need to harvest your okra every day. Because if you miss a day of harvesting, your okra will get too big and woody. And it can't be eaten anymore when it gets woody. So, yeah, this one can grow a little bit bigger as well. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, they're not big enough. So, I can wait for tomorrow morning to harvest this. I'm just going to check to make sure that they're not too big. So, this one actually, we can get that or wait for a little bit. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm just checking right now, but whenever I harvest this, say for example, let's uh, find something that's almost ready. Yeah, I harvested some okra last night. And then after like less than an hour, we had a customer at the stand who was looking for the okra. So we sold them right away. Okay, so for example, this one. I cut this with a pruner or a pair of scissors and then I also prune the okra. I remove this leaf right here. The plant will just keep on growing taller. Okay, we're still good. There's none that's too big. So it looks like tomorrow we can get a lot of okra. We sell our okra cheap because we grow them. Last year, we tried buying okra from the produce auction. Unfortunately, they don't last that long because whenever it's too hot, the quality of okra pods deteriorate quickly. So you have to consume them right away. Or if you're selling them, you need to sell them right away or else they won't be edible anymore. So this year we have not bought any okra to sell at the stand yet. We were just selling the ones that we've harvested. We only have 30 plants, but these are good producers. So look at that. So basically this kind of okra, and I'll let you know in my, one of my future videos, I might make a video about growing okra. But this type of okra is really cool because it produces a lot of suckers. So what I do is I just let them grow. So basically it's kind of like the tomatoes where a sucker grows into a new plant. But this one you just leave the branches, the sucker. So like this is the main stem which is already about 3 feet tall right now. And then so you keep on harvesting from it. So this is where I harvested the okra. We have branches here. And this branch already also produced another branch. So we have a lot of branching and each branch also produces okra pods. And this variety does not get very tall. And I like it that it makes a lot of branches because then it produces a lot of pods. Because if the okra has produced like a pod here, so we have here one, two, three, four. So we've already gotten four from this branch. And this is not the main branch, it's secondary. And then we have another one. So wherever it produces an okra, it will not grow another okra pod. That is, that portion is done. It will just keep on growing taller and taller. Right there. Oh. 
So if you're interested in growing okra, select a variety that produces a lot of branches. And also pick something that does not have a lot of thorns because it is not fun to harvest from thorny okras. This one is still a little bit itchy, but now that it has grown taller and I have pruned the bottom leaves, it's not that hard anymore to harvest them. Now we are harvesting some Turkish orange eggplants. Look at this. They look so beautiful. The plant is not that nice because this kind of eggplant is very sensitive to the water. It does not like it when it gets flooded. And I accidentally flooded it at one time because I forgot to turn off the irrigation system. Well, what we have is a fertigation system where we put a water soluble fertilizer in a container and then it feeds the whole garden. Well, we have zones in the garden because I don't have enough water pressure to feed all of the plants. <laughs> I just make them roll, roll over in the ground. So anyway, here in my new garden, we have two zones. Nice. Okay. I just noticed that there's a hole down there. So there must be an animal living underneath this. Because it also, as you can see here, there's a hole in the fabric. And whatever that animal is, it came out and ate the eggplant. That's okay, it ate only one. We're just getting this. <laughs> it fell in the hole. That's not a good thing. Okay, not bad. This is my first time to grow Turkish orange eggplants. I figure the taste of this eggplant is similar to the other eggplants it's just so cool because I have never grown an orange eggplant before uh, I just noticed that we lost a couple here but look at this one guys I mean this plant looks okay this is what the eggplant looks like when it's still um, green. It's striped. And then whenever it's ready for harvest, it turns orange. So that's why the name is Turkish Orange. All right. I don't know how long this is going to last. Because the plants look like they're dying off. I'm still trying to find a way to save the plants. We're probably going to be removing the bad leaves. Okay, so we'll just take this one. We'll leave the little ones in there, see what happens. Because I figure they're ready for harvest when they turn orange. Okay, here. We have this. Whoops. Right there. And maybe we can get a couple more, so we'll get this too, right here. See, I'm trying to show you the beautiful fruit. Oops, where'd they go? Okay. We get this, and then there's one that went that way. Okay, we got it. So far, these are the eggplants that we got. We got one black beauty and a few Turkish orange. And then next, we are in the long purple eggplant row. We 
this is soft enough there some of them are not really that long I need to get some new seeds for planting for next year I don't know if the the issue here is the fertilizer or what because or it could be the moisture in the ground because some of the eggplants are really big and this is this are the same variety they I mean the seeds came from the same packet this is a good size one this can probably stay on the plant for a little bit but this one you can tell that it's already older but it's short um, so yeah not very consistent in terms of the size so if you have any ideas where to get those good variety of long purple eggplants let's just get this warm out of here quickly right then it curled okay let's get another one these plants are due for feeding i'm gonna feed this tomorrow when i run the irrigation and while we're in this spot i'm gonna show you our moringa so these are a few of the moringa plants that we have started in this area unfortunately the first batch were eaten by the rabbits so this was part of the second planting where they are already about three feet tall we have some that are still small that's okay they're gonna grow we still have plenty of time let's go this way let's take a look at the rows of eggplants any eggplant that touches the ground or the fabric even if it's not ready i usually just take it off the plant because it's gonna get burned fortunately the weather is cooperating we're not really getting much rain this time of the year which is good for my plants because they're running on an irrigation anyway okay there's another one that's touching the ground oh also another lesson from this year's garden is to stake the eggplants i mean most eggplants really can just stand like that but for some reason we have some eggplants over there that have fallen in the ground those were the ones that had so many fruits in them and got so heavy okay so it looks like we can get three from this plant i can barely see the turkish orange eggplant now <laughs> they're covered by the long purple eggplants okay so i think oh let's see we might be able to get some from here or maybe wait for tomorrow because the eggplants don't stay fresh for a long time and they are not our best sellers I just want to show you our basket guys we have two sad cucumbers just two yeah I know lots of eggplants in this basket and I got one of the Casper eggplant. Just a view of our tomato garden from here where we have harvested a lot of the ripe ones last night. Right there. And also these are bell peppers. They just started producing 
this seedlings were started I think late February unfortunately we didn't get to plant them in the ground uh, until probably end of May um, this one has a big one oh wow that is almost ready guys but the rest of them are small and we don't have any um, covers in here so we have sunburned we have a sunburned bell pepper right there all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna see you again in my next video have a great day and happy gardening